Hello. Welcome back to my pseudo weird math class. Just talk about Mercedes primes. Felt awesome. I also want to talk about Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle <clears throat> is really awesome. It's considered recreational math. It's a form of pure math. It's not applied. You can't use it to build a spaceship or a shuttle or an airplane. But it is a form of pure mathematics, which is enriching, exciting, beautiful, awesome, inspiring, and very, very fun and cool. Pascal's triangle works like this. You've got one and two, one, one. Add up both of those, you get a three. Add up both of those. Three, one. Now we start with the one. One plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four. One. Same thing going on. One. That's five. Feel this is driving here. Four plus six is ten. All right. T six plus four is ten. All right. Five. One. <coughs> Excuse me. Do one more row. That's six. 15, 20, 15, 6, oh no, right, right, so we have some symmetry going on here obviously, well, that's kind of cool, that's the first observation, right, some symmetry, right, got, you know, 6 is the axis of symmetry, here there's this line of symmetry, 20 is symmetry, that's kind of symmetrical, it's kind of, kind, of, kind, of, kind of beautiful, kind of awesome, right, jolly good, and we also have a lot of other patterns. There's about maybe four to five hugely awesome things that you can plug in <clears throat> with this stuff. First one is, it has to do with vertices on a circle. Yeah, that was a pretty good circle. I remember one uh, math teacher I had said that they went to some camp. It could, this couldn't have been the sole purpose, of the, the, whole, the whole essence of the camp. But they did, at least, I don't know, it sounded like it was where they just practice drawing good circles. Idiotic. Absurd. Absurd waste of time. But that is a good circle I just drew there. We're going to do it with left hand. Oh, not boobs. No, we aren't drawing boobs. No. Okay. Focus on math. Oh, math's awesome. Boobs. <clears throat> math. Oh, okay. Now, I'm not sure if I can get this correct, but um, now let's say if you have two vertices, two points in a circle. You connect them, two vertices, you have one segment, okay? Now if you have three vertices, then you have three segments, okay? Now if you have four vertices, I mean, four points, four vertices, okay? Now this is where it goes. Four vertices. Is this? Can you do that? You see that? Yeah, of course you can. Jolly good. Four, four, four vertices. Six segments. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's freaking sick awesome. Thanks, Pascal. Pascal. Work on my ambidexterity. Six segments, right? And how many triangles do we have? Well, one, huh? two, no wait, no. two, three, and where's the other triangle? Wait, one, two, three, four. Four triangles. Isn't that awesome? And you can continue on with this. It'll get really messy if I add another vertex. But what's going on here is you can tell, this is just one of the amazing bits of like programmed math beauty and utility, really. Utility. Like, this is useful. This is cool stuff. Uh, connect up with Pascal's triangle. All you have to do is that adding the upper two, 5, 10, 15, 20, all right, 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 right. And then you get this awesome result. And the awesome result is it tells you how many respective um, segments, triangles, squares, quadrilat or quadrilateral, quadrilaterals, um, and then you know, pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, um, octagons, 
that are inscribed in a circle. Now this is very cool stuff. This is very cool. So it's like you could draw this out technically, or you could just do a Pascal's triangle. It's like okay, so how many vertices are we going to here? Four. How many segments are there? Six. You can, we just showed that, right? How many triangles are there? Four. And how many quadrilaterals? One. Right? And there's three vertices, there's three segments, and one triangle. So this is reference to quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Bloody hell, that's difficult to say. Yeah, uh, difficult to pronounce there. And this one is in reference to a pentagon. Okay? So I could, I could just draw that. Decent circle. One, two, three, four, five. There's our. Now, I don't want to draw the ten segments, but that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess I can. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Kind of inscribed circle. Is that like satanic cult? This is not Satan. This is nothing to do with religion. This is math. Oh, math is awesome! Math is awesome! Woo! So, I'm not going <laughs> to do this full one, but five vertices, ten segments, ten triangles, five quadrilaterals, and one pentagon. That's awesome. You can continue going on with this. It's so cool. It's so freaking awesome. That's just one thing, one aspect of Pan's, Pascal's triangle, and that is inscribed. It's inscribed, um, you know, vertices in a circle. Now, I'm running out of time. Yeah, I can't even tell how long this been. Um, that's just one. There's like four others. There's something called Magic Eleven, right? Awesome stuff. And there's also, um, there's also some other really cool things like prime number. No, not prime. Fibonacci. Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician, <clears throat> and uh, you can derive the Fibonacci series from this, <clears throat> from Pascal's Triangle, which is really, really, really cool. If you go on like a diagonal, it's like adding up on a diagonal. I'll get to that later because I haven't found out, but I remember the inscribed circles one, so yes!